Well, hey, huge tube! It's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today I wanted to talk a little bit about my Dylan 650 press. A lot of you guys have seen this press briefly in another video for the first time and um, and since then a lot of people are saying well did you do a review on it did you do an overview on it did you show us your setup for the Dylan 650 and I know that there's a lot of videos on the subject so I'm not going to talk a lot about the Dylan 650 but one of the things that's very different among all of us that use the Dylan 650 is the setup that we use. How we set it up. Do we spend a ton of money to set it up? Or do we go cheap? Because the price of the presses is, is uh, you know, kind of pricey. You know, so that's what I'm going to talk about. So in this video, I'm going to show you an overall view of my setup. And, um, and then in a follow-up video, I am going to talk more specifically when it comes to my bullet feeding setup and my case feeding setup for the press. So in this video, it's going to be an overall view of the setup that I have. So I have a, uh, a, a cheapo setup for my bullet feeder that works perfectly. I absolutely love it. I have a cheapo set up for my case feeder. I absolutely love it. It seems perfect to me. Um, and, uh, and then I also, there's a lot of things and there's a lot of people, a lot of different companies that have upgrades and things that you can do to max out your press and max it out and max it out. Um, I'm not doing a lot of that, but what I am macking out and maxing out is on the cheap. Um, I will say ahead of time, I absolutely love the press. It is high quality. Um, and I never even, I, I never intended on ever buying one. Um, and I did anyway. <laughs> so... Anyway, the next thing that I did um, is I have a little solution for the primers that are, you know, if we skip a primer on the press and then it goes down a little chute and sometimes they'll fall out of the little apparatus that they have set up for us on the press. It, you know, it can happen. So I have a, a cheapo solution for that as well that suits me just beautiful. Um, and, uh, and then the next thing that's going to be very different about the press that I'm going to show you is I have my own little table set up. You see this bullet? You guys know I like to use my coffee lids for everything. And uh, I got this nice solid um, little table right here for if we need to set bullets up here and set bullets on our cases or anything else for that matter it's a nice little table and it's just clamped to my bench so I can remove it anytime and it didn't cost me anything because I already had a few screws and a couple of pieces of scrap wood and it actually looks great and since I put my bullet feeding apparatus together I really don't need it but I'm kind of used to it now so it just sits here and it's not in my way but if I want to remove it I just unclamp it now um, so the the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, this is how I load my bullets I'm not going to get into detail on my uh, on my bullet feeder yet because I really want to take my bullet feeder apart and kind of show it to you that way and uh, and I don't think I want to do it all in the same video so I just load this up like this with my finger on the bottom side while I load the bullets and then I just set them up here on my Lee multi tube bullet feeder that I've adapted um, so you know that much it's just a Lee multi tube bullet adapter that they're like 20 bucks or 20 to 25 bucks you can buy them for and then just adapt them to the press and that's the part that I'm going to show you in detail in a follow-up video um, 
but <clears throat> I will say this much ahead of time if anyone's thinking of getting a bullet feeding die um, this this die and I'm gonna give you a close-up in a minute I'm just gonna kind of give you a close-up of the whole thing uh, this die is a uh, this bullet feeding die right here is uh, so you just turn it you know just like you would with your lead bullet feeder and it drops bullets into the die and then when you pull the handle the case goes up makes contact with the die and it sets a bullet up here like that empty case got a flare on it it's going to go into the die and it sets a bullet up there it's perfect and I think I just ran out of cases while I was running my chops um, so um, in that case I'm not really going to get into the, the now the, uh, the the case feeder I'm going to do in a follow up video too I'll show you a little bit more in detail it's just so simple it don't require a lot of talk but um but I'm just going to grab a handful of brass for right now it in there just so I have a little bit of brass in here if I want to show you guys so there that's that's how uh, that's how easy that is and I know I don't have a good view over here um, but I'll show you a good view in a minute all right so now enough talk I'm just going to take the camera and we're just going to move it over here real close and I'm going to kind of point out what I'm talking about uh, about the die the die is a alpha dynamics okay and if you were to uh, if you were I'll put a link to this to this die but it's called the um, the mr. bullet feeder die assembly okay um, and I think I'm just gonna guess off the top of my head I believe they're like 50 bucks okay so they're a little pricey but let me just tell you this um, you know a lot of people have the Hornady bullet feeder and um, you know there's an RCBS bullet feeder with and they each have collets that they use but um, let me just tell you this I don't say this very often but I don't think that someone could make a better bullet feeding die than this and the reason I say that is because as far as I can tell it's perfect alright it uses the most simple perfect system to drop these bullets for us so that is uh, that's my take on the bullet feeding die so if you're thinking about getting a bullet feeding die this is for nine millimeter and 38 uh, both calibers and um, uh, Mr. Bullet Feeder Die Assembly. I'm going to put a link to it and uh, and then in the follow-up video I'm going to show you how I adapted it. Um, so that's that I wanted to talk about. So now let's uh, let's just get an overall view. I'll show you my my little table that I made here. I'll show you my uh, uh, my mist primer um, catch when they fall in there like right now I don't have a case there so when I pull the handle this uh, priming system is going to ratchet around and drop the primer that didn't go in a case into a little chute um, for those who don't know and that's what I'm going to be showing you so the setup on the uh, the, the press that I'm going to show you I'm going to show you just an up close view of the uh, powder measure the bullet feeding apparatus that I have, the and the uh, case feeding apparatus that I have, and uh, the dies that I'm using uh, to load the nine millimeter is all Lee dies, and um, this die tool um, plate right here is pretty thick compared to a lot of the presses that we use, so. Um, some people think maybe we can't even use the lead dies because they're shorter, not long enough. But in this case, I'll, when I show you under, I, I'm just telling you ahead of time. When I show you underneath this this tool head, you'll see that I have the um, the 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 
the what am I trying to call it? <laughs> the uh, the nuts, you know, that that hold the die in tight are underneath on some of them if the die is not long enough. So let's take a look. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to start with this this uh, this table that I mounted. Okay, you can tell that these are just two by sixes. They're just two by sixes, two of them here together, and one of them on top with some screw with some screws holding it on right there. That's all there is to it. That's it. It's just as simple as it can be, and this is just a uh, clamp holding it to my bench. All right. And this is very solid. It's not going to move. I could probably stand on it, but I'm not going to. Um, and as you can see, it just bumps right up. Just like that. All right. And didn't cost me a thing. Scrap piece of wood and I spray painted it black. <laughs> Done deal. <laughs> Enough with that. Okay. Now. Let's see, I'm going to just give you a quick tour here of the press. This is the way that it's set up. Here's the, here's the dies that I was talking about. I'm going to try to get a little bit more light there. Sorry guys. Um, there's the uh, dies that I was talking about. If they're too short and you can't thread them from the top, you can just thread them from the bottom like that all right and here that's the bottom of the bullet feeder right there the, and I'm gonna show you more of that in a later video but I just kinda giving you a quick look at it because I just talked about it so much this is the uh, this is the bullet feeder and you can see I've got clamps on it. I've got some PVC. But there's some other things about it I need to talk about. And I won't be able to do it in this video. Um, this is the Lee bullet feeder right here. Multi-tube bullet feeder. It works perfectly. I mean it is almost flawless I would say. So here's the powder measure. Sorry guys the powder measure it's just the one that comes with the Dillon press and uh, I will say this I'm very impressed with it now I'm using a tight group in there and I know with every powder you know it's gonna be a little bit different but with the tight group that I'm using it's holding almost perfect alright so no problems with that and then I have the Lee brass collator on here. This is where I this is where I threw all my all my brass right here. Just dump it in there. And for everybody that has problems with this, I don't understand it because it's about as simple as it gets, and it works really good. It always did on my Lee, and it does on this. You just throw your brass in there, and I'll show you some tricks on that. In another video all right so here's here we go this right here is for Morse code okay not <laughs> that's my alarm for low primers and uh, I know that there's a lot of you guys wanting to see this press how I have it set up okay so now some of you guys here's my Lee case feet my case feeder right here the Lee case feeder and you can see how it's set up it is about as simple of a setup I mean it's literally just zip tied to the uh, to the proper um, uh, nine millimeter uh, feeder thing that they give you I'm gonna talk more about this later but I'm just kind of giving you a quick overview here in this video and uh, you can see my honking steel plate that I have this <laughs> this press mounted on too I'll show you that 
Okay, there's here's the ammo. Now I've loaded probably four or five thousand rounds since I had this for maybe a month or so, something like that. Um, so I've loaded enough. Okay, now here, this piece right here, a lot of people are familiar with this that know about the the 650 Dylan. Um, this is just a uh, a little pipe threading cap. Um, it was free on the end of a piece of pipe that need, that was protecting the threads, and I just cut a little tiny little gap right there, and uh, that way I can slide it on here. You don't have to cut the gap, but it, it'll it'll go on to this little piece right here. It just pushes further on there, so it stays well clear of this handle okay and uh, the, uh, the the primers that get missed if you don't fill your case feeder like I did your primers fall here and just sit inside this tray and this will keep it from shooting overshooting and falling on the floor or anything and that's just perfect alright this is where the old old spent primers go and from what I see, it looks like it holds about a thousand inside of this thing before um, you have to empty it, and that's fine with me. This is where the, the good ammo goes. Falls out of that little chute right there on the press. And so that is an overview of my set up I really enjoy it um, one of the big differences that I notice right away um, I can load a lot of ammo on my Lee press on my Lee progressive press um, but um, I don't know if this one is a lot faster I don't think it's faster I don't think so but one thing that I have noticed about it is it is built with a lot more precision I would say everything is very precise down to the finest detail everything changes with each caliber and um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is the difference between this press and the Lee press for me is that uh, there's a lot less fiddling that you have to do if something is out of alignment or something is wrong it's going to be very definite and you're going to know exactly what it is and um, you're not going um, you're just going to be able to fix it because you don't have to do any fiddling I should say most people know what I'm talking about when it comes to the presses so there's I'm just going to give you just in case I've missed something, I'm going to let you see everything right there. That's my little setup right there. Underneath. You can just lock those dies right in from underneath. It works just perfect. Um, whenever you... Uh, well, I'm not going to get into super detail here now if some of you guys if I get enough questions about something specific I'll definitely um, do a better review a close-up I'll get this thing so close it'll blow your mind if you if I get questions on something that people want to see now when I in the follow-up video I'm going to do a follow-up video on this case feeding apparatus and on this bullet feeding apparatus on how you can come up with this okay this is a really good system and this is gonna this is it in action just like that case goes in you prime it by pushing the handle and when you push the handle it in, it 
it uh, ensures that this brass case is all the way inside the shell plate so when you raise the ram it gets sized perfectly and then it rotates around you push the handle it primes it and uh, and then that same station right there where it just got primed whenever you go up with the ram it flares the case and puts a powder charge in there and I'm able to stand right here and look right inside this case to verify and then you got a flared case it's got a powder charge in it and you raise the ram it goes into the bullet feeding die the bullet feeding die raises up and you watch a bullet drop down with the ram you see the bullet feeder die drop a little bit and it's got a bullet on there and uh, and then we go into the seating bullet seating die and then it goes into in this case I have the uh, factory crimp die the Lee factory crimp die up there and that bullet is finished and it goes around and falls into the bullet tray down there and uh, and that's how this thing operates it is a very uh, it is a very precise machine um, it really is I'm impressed with uh, with how well it's made um, you know it's obviously you know very well done like I said precise is really the uh, the, the, the right term here and uh, so anyway that's my setup um, if uh, if you guys have any questions or want to see something just up close and personal I know that there's a lot of uh, information on this press already um, so just let me know if there's something specific I'm gonna do a follow-up video on this bullet feeding situation I know people want to see it and they want to know how I done it and uh, because honest, honestly, guys, this uh, the the bullet feeding mechanisms and the case feeding mechanisms on these things can just, you know, you have to just about get a mortgage to get one of those things. You know, I paid, you know, six hundred dollars for this press, five ninety nine or six hundred dollars from Dylan is where I ordered it, and uh, and. You know, there's some other things you, you might need or might want. You know, obviously you're going to need, um, well, I'm trying to think here. I think it comes with, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it comes with one caliber, um, everything you need for one caliber, not including the dies, okay? So, so that's good. It, it, it's not too bad for the for the uh, for how well it's built. So there you go. That's uh, that's my overview of the Dylan 650 with my cheapo, hard working, perfectly working bullet feeding and case feeding system attached. I'll see you guys in the next video.